What's up people, Mike here, and this is Legendary Hard Difficulty Guide, uh, this is Chapter 5, Bullets and Blood, Part 1. So, the objective that you need to do right here is that you need to deactivate the plasma wall, or energy barrier, whatever it is you want to call it. Um, I don't know if the uh, the werewolves that come into this area, if you need to be outside for them to spawn in, or if it's like a time-based thing. But um, usually, like two of them will show up, and they usually will jump onto the other side of the barrier and attack uh, the Black Order soldiers. Um, but I'm not. 100% sure if like how the how that whole spawn works um, the reason you want to kind of hang back and deal with all the black or soldiers is because you need to almost be at the barrier to get um, into the building that you need to drop down the other side so the less fire you're taking from the black or soldiers the better um, now, you're going to see me throw a grenade at these guys down here. I would suggest not doing it because as you'll see, I let out an alpha werewolf. And he proceeds to be a real fucking annoyance uh, in about probably a minute or so. And uh, it, it almost, you know, cost me it. It, it got kind of dicey, but um, kind of staying in this room, uh, especially after you open the gate, uh, like two more werewolves will spawn in, and being above them works out very well. Um, yeah, the other problem is that. Uh, there are Black Ore soldiers um, over by where that first group was because for some reason when you open that gate it triggers in I think like two or three more black soldiers to spawn in. So while I was taking damage from that alpha werewolf I was I think I took at least like one shot from one of the, uh, the Black Order soldiers. For some reason this chair got in my way, I'm not really sure how that happened. But um if you come up come back up into this room and uh break into this area there's usually uh some Molotovs and uh grenades to pick up. And uh and this is where the, the wolves come in, so as I said, having the high ground on them works out. Um, so I should say that at this point as I'm doing these voiceovers, I've uh, finished the guide, or I've finished recording it. Um, the double minotaur fight in chapter 8 didn't give me as much trouble as I thought it was going to and uh, it still got kind of kind of close where I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough ammo to effectively kill them and then also be prepared for the black order soldiers that come into that area but um, I managed to get through it and the end sequence took me five times to get through it, which always ended up happening after I got all three barriers down, and then I would die from something, so that got a little annoying, but uh, when I eventually voice over that final video, I'll share my strategy on how I got through it.
Um, if you don't destroy those boards, uh, the the Nary will just kind of bust through there. And this is another moment where these bitches are annoying and they flip the switch and close the gate on you. Um, I don't believe you can kill that that Nary. It's mainly there to troll you. Um, it, it's stupidly annoying at times. Um, but coming up into this next area is uh, the first introduction of the Minotaur. This Minotaur fight isn't too bad. It just takes a long ass time because unfortunately I came to this uh, into this fight without any grenades or molotovs which uh, makes this fight go longer than it probably needed to um, ideally you want to come into this fight with at least two grenades and maybe two molotovs um, you want to use the grenade at the start because it will damage the minotaur and it will kill the black soldiers that are near it. Um, but because I didn't have any, I just decided to run over to this corner area. Because where I'm standing, this is the only structure that the minotaur can't destroy. So if you ever like need to get away from him for a couple seconds to... Uh, reload your shotgun or your whichever gun you're using and uh, maybe heal yourself or something you can kind of duck behind there and um, take a take whatever amount of time you need to to catch your breath um, the opposite corner of this thing uh, there is shotgun ammo uh, if there is grenades to pick up in this area I can't say I've ever found them and you don't want to get stuck like I did there because it almost cost me. But I don't believe that there's any grenades to pick up in this area. I think it's just this shotgun ammo here. Um, if there are grenades to pick up, I wouldn't know where they are. Um, so it's, it's kind of a shame you would think they would have tossed in like maybe like at least, even just like one grenade and one Molotov, you know. Just something to, to use. But once this Minotaur is dead, uh, we'll be moving on to the next area and I will see you there. Your location. We're approaching the western entrance. Roger, Delta, report in. <laughs> 